Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the rarest automotive occasions in the world, the launch of a new Rolls-Royce. I'm Jodie Kidd and it's my great pleasure to be here at the home of Rolls-Royce on this very important day. And joining me here at this spectacular headquarters in the heart of the English countryside is the driver of the brand's success story since 2010, Chief Executive Torsten muller artvath Welcome everyone watching online and thanks for joining us as we reach out to the world from our home here in the United Kingdom. And today is indeed a momentous day for us. It's a day that marks a new dawn for our company. So Torsten, we've just seen the most incredible dawns. Is that video setting up um, something maybe for this landmark day? It certainly is, Jody. And the launch of our new car, the Rolls-Royce Dawn, represents a new age of open-top super luxury motoring. Yeah, because I've always thought that the Phantom Drophead was the ultimate in open-top luxury motoring. But tell us a little bit more about the Dawn. Like the Phantom Drophead, the Dawn is a true four-seater, but Dawn will attract a younger, even more social customer. And with Dawn, we are extending the frontiers of the Rolls-Royce brand. We believe it's quite simply the sexiest Rolls-Royce ever made. And like every Rolls-Royce that we have produced since 2003, our new Dawn will be manufactured right here at the home of Rolls-Royce our beautiful and contemporary high-tech facility tucked away in the rolling hills of Sussex. With Phantom, Ghost and Wraith, Rolls-Royce has once again become, and here I'm quoting the media, the maker of the best cars in the world. And these are the cars that have driven our five consecutive years of record growth since 2009. Phantom, Ghost, and Wraith. So I heard that this new car has a classic Rolls Royce as its muse. That's right. The Silver Dawn Drophead is one of our rarest ever cars. Only 28 were built, all by hand. Just look at the sensuous and voluptuous lines of this beautiful 1952 example which so inspired our design team. Our new Rolls-Royce Dawn will create exactly the same feeling of La Dolce Vita. That is a seriously beautiful car. But how have you translated that Dolce Vita feeling into the new Dawn? As you are about to see, our new Dawn is strikingly seductive, like no other Rolls-Royce drophead before. And it will be the most social of super luxury motor cars. And now the moment has arrived for us to show you our beautiful new car. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the much anticipated Rolls-Royce Dawn.
Austin, she is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's everything you've promised. You must be so proud. I'm very proud, but I'm particularly very proud of all my colleagues who are the creators of this beautiful masterpiece. Yeah. So let's take a closer look on what our craftspeople here in Goodwood did. Look at the beautiful open pour wood deck. And the waterfall effect between the rear seats. This intricate hand stitching on the mandarin leather. And the lustrous midnight sapphire paintwork. And of course, the perfect hand-painted coach line. She truly is luxurious. I mean, just exquisite, every single detail. She is a genuine Rolls Royce. That's right. First, we'll hear from Giles Taylor, our design director, and he will talk a bit more about the gorgeous design of Dawn. Giles, it's over to you. Thanks very much, Torsten. There's a wonderful sense of occasion with Dawn. From the very early concept sketches, the designers sought this purity of line, this simplicity of form, maybe perhaps three or four lines that would evoke the glamour and the style of some of the most beautiful drop heads ever created by Rolls-Royce. Also important was a crisp modern edge that would fit the world of our contemporary customer. As we come to the front view of Dawn, perhaps the key element, the key feature is this lovely sense of low stance given by the wide front windscreen. And then as we come to the grill, perhaps the most important part of Dawn, this is where the power, the authority is. This is where a beautiful flying lady sits. We've recessed the grill bar slightly, and the body side lines flow very naturally. They converge very beautifully underneath the grill to promote that sense of power. It's with the side view of Dawn that the real strength of character of the design comes through. This sleek, far center line profile that starts with the heavily raked front screen, the line that stretches over the four occupants and plants down effortlessly onto the tail of the car. It was essential right at the start of the design process that this car would look superb with the hood up, stunning with the hood down. This proportion of metal of the door to the glass, the way the canvas rolls over, gives the car a very solid, unique character with the hood up. But let me tell you about the more seductive, the more sensual element of Dawn, the line that starts in the front wing, works underneath the glass and rises just enough over the rear axle, this subtle beauty of line that redefines a sensual side to the Dawn character. With the roof down, this is the glamour shot. You feel like a star and you look like a star. The line that we've designed that starts at the base of the A-pillar rises just nicely around the rear occupants as though offering a sense of privacy, a sense of protection. It encircles the cockpit to give that sense of sociability, that convivial atmosphere, just right for open-top motoring. And here we are at the rear of Dawn. There's a lovely sense of convergence as the line swings out over the rear wheel, onto the rear lamp cluster. Graphics are harmonious, surfaces are simple, no line should feel forced. And on the rear deck cover, we've taken the Cannadale panelling and delivered a superb piece of craftsmanship, mirror-matched, open pour wood, but tumbles naturally into the interior, as though exterior and interior are perfectly combined. In a moment, we'll be seeing early reactions to Dawn from our customers at the Rolls-Royce Summer Studio in Sardinia with our sales and marketing director, Fintan Knight. But before that, let's go to Philip Kuhn, our chief engineer, who will tell you the lengths we've gone to to engineer the quietest drop head in the world. Hello. Behind me, you can see the all-new Rolls-Royce Dawn fresh out of the paint shop and starting its journey down the assembly line. We have engineered the ultimate open-top four-seater super luxury car. It's not a Wraith convertible. It's a car that has a character all of its own. It's not only about the amazing new roof, it's the perfect blend of every component. From the body panels, of which 80% are new, to the new suspension setup, 
even the tires are new. The engineering highlight is the phenomenal new roof. The design resolves the issue that most other manufacturers can't, making an open top car look beautiful with the hood down and up. The tailored French seam is key to sleekness and silence. I am also very proud to report that our new roof can open and close in just 22 seconds, all the while driving at up to 50 km per hour. Yet another innovation. So engineering the roof was absolutely crucial and I'm proud to say that Dawn is the quietest soft top available anywhere today. This is the anechoic chamber. Here we are using precision instruments to make sure that we have eliminated all unwanted sounds. So when you get into the car, all you can hear is... the sound of silence. Thank you, Philip. I'm here in Porto Cervo, Sardinia. Built in the 1960s by the Aga Khan for the jet set business magnates, A-listers, even royalty, and many of them patrons of the Rolls-Royce brand over the years. We're always expanding ways of interacting with our customers, new ways that go beyond the dealership only model. And that's why I'm here. I'm meeting our most valued clients while they're on vacation, discussing with them what they most want from the world's pinnacle super luxury car brand. So I'm at their service, and so is my team at the Rolls-Royce Summer Studio. Come and see what it's all about. Here at the Summer Studio, we make it very easy for our clients to engage with us. They are very busy people, often time poor, but they know what they want. Here, they can just drop by and to discover what we're about over a glass of champagne, or even take one of our extraordinary cars for a spin on some of Sardinia's most breathtaking roads. After only two years, the summer studio has become a real social magnet for ultra high net worth individual customers. Already this year, we've held several events. And it's also at locations like these that we show selected clients our most advanced prototypes of our newest motor cars. And here in summer, we showed them the new dawn. And the reaction was fantastic. My guests told me this is the exact car they've been waiting for, the new pinnacle in open-top super-luxury car motoring. The Dawn is a modern and definitive Rolls-Royce that a younger, more social customer is going to adore. It is so relaxed, yet so amazingly alive and open to new possibilities. And so far, everybody has their own favorite feature of the Dawn. And mine is this idea of a shared experience that only a true four-seater drophead can provide. So thank you for joining me for this peek into the lives of some of our customers and their reactions to this fabulous new Rolls-Royce. And now, it's back to Jody and Torsten. Thanks, Fintan. Thank you, Jody, for joining us here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you agree with me that the new Rolls-Royce Dawn represents a new age for open-top super luxury motoring. Our dealers and representatives worldwide are looking forward to helping you experience the new Rolls-Royce Dawn for yourself. I very much look forward to hearing your opinions. In the meantime, thank you for watching and goodbye from the home of Rolls-Royce here in Goodwood.